Hello and welcome to today's mix up and I have two products introduced in 2011. The first is Colson's founded in 1901. Yeah, well, uh, actually Colson's was introduced in 2011. The pharmacy chain that it is sold in was founded in 1901. Colson is a real person. I was reading about, I don't remember his first name, but he was a man who perfected, apparently perfected the recipe for Walgreens cream soda fountain drink they used to have. They may still have a few Walgreens that have that, not around here for sure. Um, then there's a signature for somebody named P. something Kaufman. Uh, bottle by, and then a bunch of awards that appear obviously never won. A bunch of medals. Um, Bottled by Barton Brands, Louisville, Kentucky. 100% grain spirits. 40% alcohol. Now, it doesn't say they make it. It says they bottle it. Now, when I went on the tour of the Barton Distillery, Barton 1792 Distillery, I asked the tour guide, I said, Do you, does your vodka come from MGP in Indiana? She said, yes. She turned and looked at me and she said, yes, it does. So, I would assume they're grain spirits. Are coming from there too but I this I don't know I just know they don't say they make it they say they bottle it and it says info at bartonbrands.com which if you click on that it'll route you to a different website it says we love to hear from our customers 1-866-729-3722 you can call that number during the week and they open early like I think it's like 8 a.m. Eastern <coughs> And they still open until I think 8 a.m. at night, 8 p.m. at night, Eastern. Um, you can dial that number where they're not going to answer and say, Hello, Barton. <laughs> when you call it, they're going to answer the phone and say, Hello, Buffalo Trace. Okay. So, but uh, I bought this full size bottle, call it a travel bottle. I need to fit in a suitcase. Plastic won't get metal detected. Um, bought this for $4.99. I didn't like it at first. I gave it a C. I thought it was kind of harsh. And then I kept sipping on it, and my score did go up. So now it's up to an 83. Um, nothing great, but it is good. I just uh, probably was too used to the... I had been drinking or taste tasting so many of these that were with the vodka with premium liqueur. And I think that kind of corrupted me in my tasting that... It got me away from what pure grain spirits should taste like. Now, is it corn or wheat? This I don't know, but to me it, it seems like corn. But Yeah, it's pretty clean. It's not that different from, say, Taka Vodka. Also from uh, Sazerac slash Buffalo Trace slash Barton slash Glenmore. This is a private label for that uh, pharmacy chain. I've been checking their website lately, and they said they sold out here. Well, for $4.99 a bottle, yeah, people around this area and in this town, they're going to buy every bottle. It's not going to last a week. And then they had the handles for $9.99. Once again, it's not going to last a week here. Uh, so will it ever return this? I don't know. They might, who knows, they might drop this brand up. Uh, I saw photos of Colson's blended American whiskey, Colson's gin, Colson's brandy, Colson's rum, Colson's, um, I don't know, some guy like liqueurs like triple sec, but, uh, blue curacao and stuff. But um, apparently, all I, well, all I ever saw in Louisiana was this vodka. So it might be phasing out and being thrown out. They might get rid of it. Just like the other pharmacy, a rival pharmacy chain had a, a line of Sazerac Buffalo Trace produced products called um, Grand Legacy. But there was also Connolly's Irish Cream Liqueur and uh, Jethro T. Boots Kentucky Straight Bourbon. But the rest were Grand Legacy. But those were all gone. All gone. Okay, well here's another private label. Oh, Here's a Barton brand I bought yesterday. Barton Long Island Iced Tea. They must contract with a company that says we only do bland labels. You know, they must, their website must say, do you want the dullest looking label for a low price? 
contract with us and when you've got it and Barton's like that's our game plan I mean, it's not a bad looking label but it looks like it could have been 1974 84 94 2004 2014 2024 into the future at the time of this video ready to drink just add ice so I bought this 290 200 milliliter thing what did I get a good deal no it was 299 it's much cheaper per ounce to get the big liter bottle if you find that but then you got the big liter bottle you got to get through so I paid for the convenience and it was convenient so I'm not complaining and I yep same phone number <laughs> this one says sazerac.com right below it Barton Distilling Company produced oh now this is a little different produced and bottled by Barton Distilling in Kentucky so this one is made by them and listen to this made with a blend of rum tequila vodka gin triple sec and caramel color <laughs> so oh man Here is a store brand private label for Aldi. It's called Summit Sparkling Ginger Beer. Spicy botanical ginger drink with herbal extracts. 12 ounce bottle. It's got the Aldi twice as nice guarantee. They'll replace the item and they'll give you the money back. Well, I would never bring this back because it tastes good. Oh, so very good. And it uses pure sugar and natural flavor and caramel color and a uh, Now, some people were saying they found it wasn't intense enough on ginger. I don't know what they're talking about. It burns my throat. It's almost like they got cayenne pepper in it. Other reviews for this product were saying it's too intense. It's burning my throat. Like I watch at least 10 videos. It's burning my throat. It's too intense. I hate it. But I think it's fabulous, you know. And there's also a Summit Root Beer, which I'll bring into play one day. That's the plan, at least. And I got a great deal on this. For whatever reason, Aldi had this for $2.79, a four-pack, the day I bought it. That is not the normal price. I went with that. What's that? 70 cents a bottle. 7 times 2 is 14 times 2. Uh, Twenty-eight, so we were very close on that. Mm. Makes a really great mix-up. So you say, well, National Socialist Football League's coming on. Watch the Washington Redskins, or I might watch Major League Baseball, watch the Cleveland Indians, or you might be more adventurous, watch the Canadian Football League, watch the um, Edmonton Eskimos, whatever you want, and you say, I'm going to do an inexpensive mix-up. This could be one for you, and I like it. Hmm. Aldi doesn't have to worry about me bringing this back because I think it was dynamite. I rated D for dynamite. So that gets an A. 93 out of 100. The Colsons gets a B. 83 out of 100. So 9.3, 8.3. I don't know about this one, but I know one thing. It's going to be cold before I drink it. It's going in the fridge in a few, might be a couple of months before I get to it. 21% alcohol. Drink this whole bottle, you'll know it. All right. Oh. oh. The mix up's coming in at it. 9 out of 10. A minus. Wonderful. I love that burn. I love that burn. So, Laissez Les Bon Ton Relay, a great mix up. And stay tuned. Or keep your eye open for another mix-up coming up with another vodka brand that I bought. And that one's coming in from Indiana for sure. And you'll all recognize that vodka.
without a doubt. So laissez-les bon temps relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Aldi and pick up some strange soda pop and soft drink items. <laughs>